to my channel. My name is Cheryl with Cheryl and Family and today I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe on how I make chili. You can make chili so many different ways but this is my recipe and I thought I would share it with you all. And don't forget to press that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more. Alright so I have my crock pot out and plugged in and now I'm going to add some ingredients. I'm going to add some tomato sauce. This is a 29 ounce can and I'm going to add a half a can of the chicken broth. This is a 14 ounce can. After I added in the tomato sauce and chicken broth, I stir them together. I put the lid back on and I turn it on high. Grab yourself a big pan to cook in. Open your package of ground turkey or beef add the meat to your pan and get it cooked up. Then when it's about almost halfway cooking I add in some diced up red onion. I mix it all in and I try not to ground up my meat so much because we like our chili meat chunky. And so you'll cook this up until the onions are caramelized and the meat is cooked all the way. Then you'll add some black pepper. You just add in however much you want. Then I'm going to add in some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning at the very end before it's done cooking. So yeah, I just stir the seasoning in, let it cook on the stove top for a couple more minutes and then I will add it into the crock pot. All right. Now I'm going to add the meat to the crock pot. Stir the sauce and meat in together. Then I add in a little bit of cilantro and parsley. You can use as much as you want. I'm pretty generous with both because they give the chili some excellent flavor. Then you'll add ground cumin and chili powder. I add in one teaspoon. Stir in the spices. Next up, I opened up my can of pinto beans. You see all that sauce in there? So what I do is I put all of them in a colander. So what I do is I put them all in this colander here and I give them a nice good rinse and I get all that nasty sodium stuff off. Get any junk that might be in the can with the beans, you never know. Add them to this bowl. Then I add the beans to the sauce and meat and I stir it all up. I did add a little bit more of the garlic and herb at Mrs. Dash at the very end, so add a little bit more of that. Cover your crock pot up and let it cook on high for three to four hours and it's ready to serve. All right, you guys, we're home now. We're going to check on the chili. Wow, look at that. Can't wait. Another hour and it'll be all ready. All right, you guys, so here's the finished product. Chili some Fritos and a little bit of cheese.